House Hackers, holler at your boy, folks. If you are interested in getting in the house hacking space where you purchase the roof over your head but also make money turning it into a business, you are going to want to pay attention to today's show. Because I'm working with a guy named Rich. He's moving from Colorado all the way to Ohio. And Rich, I saw this property. This thing had your name on it, bro. It's in Ohio. It's actually close to the Wheeling, Virginia metro area, right? It's uh, about a 20-minute drive to Wheeling, Virginia. Uh, Wheeling, West Virginia, actually. It's maybe like, I don't know, I think like an hour uh, from Pittsburgh and then like two hours from Cleveland. It's in a small little town. And I saw it and I'm like, dude, this right here, this is my guy Rich's property. This is like probably the most unique analysis I've ever done, the most unique property I've ever done. Uh, totally different than anything else I've ever analyzed for somebody. Uh, but based on your situation, what you're trying to do, brother, I was like, damn, this is it. This is my boy Rich's property. Let's take a look. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. Today, we're going to be going over some house hacking strategy for my guy, Rich. Right? Look at this thing, Rich. This is pretty dope, right? Let me get you the address here. Because uh, full disclosure, bro, uh, this is a small little town that I am, I'm not too familiar with, right? But I was cruising the MLS, my Ohio MLS here, and I was like, dude, what can I get for my guy Rich, right? You want to move from Colorado. You want to turn uh, the property you live in in Ohio into uh, an investment vehicle, but but you got to stay at 80K. And right now where you're set up, you don't have the ability to get a loan, right? So you're capped at 80 grand. So I'm trying to find you something that's kind of moving ready, but can also provide you these house hacking options, the ability to draw income from it. And I came across this little beast right here. And I was like, holy shit, light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, this is for my guy, Rich, right? It's in a little town called Flushing, Ohio, bro. 116 118 High Street, Flushing, Ohio. Like I said uh, in the uh, intro there, it is actually more so in the Wheeling, Virginia metro area. Okay, we're very close to Wheeling, West Virginia. We're also pretty close uh, to Pittsburgh, right? So uh, like Wheeling, it's like 30 minutes for like an hour to Pittsburgh and then like an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours to Cleveland, okay? I wrote it down, actually. Hold on. Yeah, two and a half hours southeast of Cleveland, hour and a half west of Pittsburgh, and then boom, you're in uh, Wheeling, Virginia in a half hour. And I did a little research on Wheeling. I don't know much about Wheeling, uh, but it looks like for what you're going to have over there, bro, you got two potential uh, guest and or tenant bases you could be working with. Uh, they got a big steel mill, and they also got a casino, right? Because I know you're open to doing uh, pretty much any and anything you can do to turn your property uh, into something that makes money, whether that be having a, a mixture of long-term tenants, some of your family wants to come live with you, and then you also have the potential to do short-term tenants, right? So this thing is cool. It's actually technically two separate units, okay? But one unit, bro, has been being ran as like a boarding house, short-term rental kind of thing, right? Let me read you uh, what the listing agent said. High Street Flushing, two-unit building. The east side features a remodeled eight-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath furnished complex with full kitchen and laundry. Each bedroom has privacy locks, amenities, cable, TV, internet, and laundry. Uh, housekeeping services are available because they've already been running it this way, right? And this, it's like two-and-a-half hours from Cleveland, bro, so even though it's in Ohio, Holton Wise, we can't assist you with the management. It's, it's just too far, right? I don't have any thing down here. I don't do business uh, this far away. So the fact that the particular seller has already been doing a little bit of short-term rentals and they do have some housekeeping type connections for you, I thought that would be a nice bonus for you, brother. Perfect for individuals or entire work crews. And then the other side, 
uh, is completely unrenovated, okay? The other side's totally unrenovated, but we should assume that based on the price, okay? Uh, needs to be finished, could be office, retail, or additional residential space, right? So my thought was you could come in, start living here, because the side that you want to live in, the side that's got eight friggin' bedrooms, dog, it's moving ready, dude. It's ready to rock and roll. Look at this thing. I mean, it's not the nicest thing in the world, but, dude, we're buying this thing for, like, friggin' pennies. And you got the eight bedrooms, right? So you want to move some family in? Cool. You want to just rock that side with you and your family? Cool. You want to utilize some of those other bedrooms for maybe a long-term tenant roommate situation or potentially casino guests on an Airbnb or some steel mill workers? Whatever you want to do, bro, the options are there for you, dude. Eight friggin' bedrooms in this, right? And that's just the one unit. Now, the other unit needs to be totally renovated, okay? But you're going to have a relatively uh, large footprint. Uh, of real estate to do to do stuff with right so you can do commercial you could turn it into housing you could turn it to more airbnb space right it's a complete blank canvas for you bro and the price they're looking to get out of this is 90 grand but they've been trying to sell this thing for six months this is like a little ass town bro uh this is just like this tiny little area okay so like there's probably not a lot going on over there again uh you're gonna want to to really like get an understanding of flushing because again this is like a new little area to me this is very different than what i normally do but i know you're flying into ohio uh here in the near future to start looking around for some stuff and this looks like your small little town i don't want to fucking say mayberry but it's just like this tiny ass little town that there's probably not a lot going on right so you're probably going to want to look at crime statistics and things like that but from what i'm seeing here Right. Like you got a little bit of like vacancy at this uh, like these little shops. I'm guessing like you probably don't make a lot of fucking money uh, on like an actual like walk in store in a small ass little town like this. But like some of the other stuff I'm seeing, like the landscaping is halfway decent. I'm not seeing like torn down buildings or anything like that. Uh, but you're going to definitely want to look into it because it's incredibly cheap real estate here. Right. So I think personally, my guesstimate based upon the brief amount of research I did, is this is this little podunk fucking town, and there just ain't a lot happening, and there's not a lot of people there, which is why the real estate is so cheap. Uh, again, crime, things like that, you're going to need to look that up. I didn't go too deep. Uh, but the price point, bro, it's cheap, and it's just so unique, and your situation's so unique, I thought it would work. And because they haven't been able to sell this thing at 90k over the last six months, I was like, yo, my guy Rich, his budget is 80k. I feel like we make them an $80,000 cash offer because they have to get a cash offer anyway. Anybody else, it works for you because you can't finance because of your situation, uh, your credit and income situation. You're stuck at your 80. You cannot uh, get a loan, but that works out good for you right now because you couldn't, no matter who you are, get a loan to buy this property most likely because currently... It's not generating money. Half the thing is uninhabitable. It's going to need a two, a full total renovation. So they're probably waiting for a cash offer too. And it doesn't look like anything is popping because it don't look like that much is popping in fucking Flushing, Ohio. But for the right guy on a super micro business, right, you're actually living in part of the property. I think you could etch out a little bit of money here, bro. I don't exactly know how much you're going to be able to make because there's so many variables in, in what you can do. Again, you could just for now move your friggin' family in there. You got you, your family. I think you're moving like your mom or your sister, I think you said. And then you could slowly fix up the other half. You can use some of those eight bedrooms to rent as Airbnb long term. I mean, dude, the options are there for you. So for a guy in such a very unique situation who's traveling cross-country but doesn't have the ability to get a loan and is really trying to start his investment career from the ground up, from the roof over his head, this thing caught my eye, bro. This is the first time I've ever looked at real estate in Flushing, but this, this thing right here, it caught my eye, and I thought it would work perfectly for you, and I know you're making the trip to Ohio here shortly, so I really wanted to put this one on your radar. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.